Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys know, Global got a data download earlier this morning and apparently, according to my boy Kawai on Twitter, part of this data download included these Halloween tickets which were found in the files and he says that the tickets are in the same style as the ones we had for the Namek Goku banner but this time they're for the legendary portal or legendary summon banner for LR Full Power Frieza. And if you guys didn't know, LR Full Power Frieza is going to be dropping on Global in about 3 days from now. So the timing definitely makes sense. And he also says, surely new purchasable or new packs available for purchase through the Pilafs Trove. So yes, unfortunately it does seem like these are going to be premium paid for tickets as opposed to tickets you can get for free through missions or logins or maybe even just doing multis on the legendary summon banner. Um, I mean he doesn't really clarify whether you know the Pilafs Trove is the only way to get these tickets so maybe if we're lucky fingers crossed they'll make this a special legendary summon banner that gives tickets for doing multis or maybe there'll be some special missions for this campaign where we can get a few free tickets for summons. I don't really know, man. I'm really hoping that's the case, but I wouldn't necessarily count on it. I don't think it's very likely. So more likely than not, it's going to be a Pilafs Trove exclusive thing. And he also says he has the impression that they are systematizing the concept. Uh, systematizing? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't really know. It's late. Doesn't really matter. The point he's trying to make, I think, is that this is probably going to be a regular thing in the future where all future Legendary Summon banners and Dokkan Fest banners will have tickets associated with them that can be purchased in the Pilaf Trove, at least on Global. And I mean, if everything he's saying here is true, one thing to know that at least I'm thinking about is this might be the first time ever that a Legendary Summon banner has had tickets that can be used to summon on it. Now I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am in the comments, but as far as I can remember, no other legendary summon banner in the past on whether it's global or JP um, has ever had tickets that can be used. I'm pretty sure. And if that's the case, and if that's true, and if I'm not crazy, then this is a pretty big deal, guys. It's like history in the making. And this is also another thing we can add to the very, very short list of things that can be considered global exclusives, right? So that's pretty cool. In all seriousness, though, um, I do think that these tickets are a pretty good thing. I mean, here's the thing. I can see some free-to-play players getting upset because it's another... You know, Pilaf's Trove thing, it's another cash grab, another thing that's locked behind a paywall. But um, as far as a pay to play player's perspective goes, which I am, um, I think these tickets, as far as the Namek Goku packs are concerned, they were a pretty good deal. As far as how many summons we got for the number or for the amount of money we paid for the packs, I think it was like 15 tickets for 20 ish dollars for all three packs. And. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 5 ticket multi was also a GSSR at the end. I could be wrong about that, but I do remember getting a fair amount of SSRs on those tickets. And overall, I just feel like it's a pretty good deal if you're gonna pay for stones anyways to summon, right? So, I'm for it, and um, I mean of course all of this is assuming that the new Halloween packs as well as any future packs for other banners will be around the same price as the ones for the Namek Goku, and if not, then I might change my opinion in the future. They better not pull anything crazy, like those step-up purchases, those step-up packs that we got for the thank you celebration last year, because that was absolute garbage. So if that's the case, then I am completely out on this, but for now, I'm staying optimistic and just hoping that's gonna be the same thing, and they don't try to charge us too much for these tickets. And of course, still holding out the hope, fingers crossed, for free-to-play players that there's going to be some kind of free-to-play method to acquire at least a few tickets for a few free summons. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I really want to say in today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these Halloween tickets and the possibility that all future banners on Global will have paid tickets 
that you can use to summon all those banners as well. And finally, if you're also a pay to play player like me, then let me know in the comments down below whether or not you plan to pick up these tickets for yourself once they become available, because like I said, I most likely will be buying these tickets when they come out, assuming Bandai doesn't pull anything too crazy like charging a super high price or locking the tickets behind other packs or something like that. And I'm just curious to see how many other people out there are in the same boat as me. So that's it guys, that's all I wanted to say in today's video. And as always, if you liked this video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.